Hi and welcome to Pokemon Deck Monday, Team PI Pokemon. And uh, we've got Summer here today. Hello. And the reason why is because we're going to be playtesting and profiling this deck, which actually reached 8th place in the Hartford Regionals in the United States. So congratulations to Rook and Shao. Uh, I certainly hope that is how you, use, um, how you pronounce your name. My apologies if, uh, if that is not. But uh, this Bikibulu deck carried him to top eight at Hartford. So around about three hours ago, he actually released the list online and we're straight on it as well for two different reasons. Number one, it's your deck and you've been playing this deck for quite some time now. How many CP points have you achieved as a result of it? 100. She's got 100 CP points, okay. And the reason why I like the deck is for the firm uh, reason. Well, why do I like the deck? It's got Clefairy. It's got Clefairy in it, exactly. Okay, so I mean, like, of course, you're going to do really, really well in the tournament with Clefairy. But should we go through the? Uh, <laughs> should we go through the deck uh, first? Let's see what cards there are, and are there any surprises um, in terms of what he's played? Um, you know, things that just take you. I think first and foremost, Clefairy. <laughs> So I'm going to take this one. I think uh, I played Clefairy in my Metagross um, Solgaleo deck this last pr past weekend. Uh, it is the previous video that's on the channel, so do take a ha uh, do have a look at that. Uh, spent quite some time analysing that deck and going through what would have been uh, a top eight um, a, a top eight achievement. Uh, long story cut short, I, we had to leave because it was just getting late. We had a two and a half hour journey back from Manchester to Leicester, so we made it in time. It was raining. We just had to put safety first, really. So safety first for Pokemon at all times. Um, Sing actually got me quite a few, uh, quite a bit of advantage. It actually helped me win two games, but it was Metronome. And the reason why I like Metronome is because it just completely, um, it completely dominates uh, Gardevoir. It's a great counter, forces a seven prize card game, and it's just, it's just amazing. Only one retreat cost mm -hmm. as well. I really, really like it. Okay, what do you think of the three one three Grub in line? Um, I think it's okay. But I'm not too sure about the charger bug being in the deck. Okay, so w we we are very very interested in seeing how the charger bug works. I I have to say that Summer actually plays this deck far with far more competence than I do. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we I I would let's put it this way. I would be reliant on a, a charger bug going going forward in in uh, developing the deck. I think there's a lot of Espeon GXs, uh, Espeon EXs that are out there that can um, that can devolve you back to the to the basics. So I'm quite afraid of not playing Charger Bug. But you? I'm okay without playing Charger Bug. Okay. Do you like uh, Do you like it because you find it's a bit more aggressive? I like it because if you have a Charger Bug in your hand, but then you have a Red Candy and a Vicar Vault. Maybe you like had a Vicar Vault and then you drew a Red Candy. You wouldn't want to. Well, you could evolve into a Charger Bug, but it, at the same time, you could use Strong Charge if you use Red Candy. Mm. Okay, right. So um, we 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 we're kind of uh, in a in a slight disagreement with that, but so I have to go with Summer's Summer's opinion. Perhaps you know, moving the deck forward, maybe Charger Bug might not be as necessary as people people rely on. Mm. I just realised something about the Clefairy as well as being mm. in a different deck. Okay. Although it is weak to metal, you can still use it in a Dark Red GX deck for its GX attack. You could. In actual fact, Metronome can uh, copy an opponent's GX attack. The good thing about Metronome is that it actually copies. It's not reliant like, for example, Mimic Q is in Metagross. It's not reliant on the last uh, attack your opponent used. You can pick any attack. You can even pick the GX attack, but you can only use one GX attack in your game. So if you attacked with Clefairy, you would not then be able to use um, uh, Tapu Wilderness, which I think is a very, very strong attack to have. So you just have to be very, very careful. Three Tapu Bulu's GX standard? Um. Yes, because you're not really. If you have Clefairy, you're not really going to attack with Tapu Bulu all the time. Otherwise, it would be a waste of a card. Okay. What's quite interesting as well is that, and we'll come back to the Coco in a, in a moment. But you've also got Mew as well. Mm. Now, Mew could actually be considered a third uh, Tapu Bulu. We've we've played about with Mew, haven't we? Yeah, but the I disagree with it because. If you use Mew, it's just an extra prize for Espeon. Even though it's weak, um, you can still just one-hit KO a 
SBM with Tapu Bulu. So uh, Tapu Bulu can still take out uh, your, your weakness. You can uh, the weakness in terms of Espeon. Um and Mew is always going to be countered by Garbatox and Garbador, so it mm. becomes a dead hand, of, uh, dead card as well. Uh, what about Tapu Koko? We've um, stayed away from it, haven't we? Yeah, there was this Tapu Koko deck that person used to play, and he did win against me. But I was playing Espeon, not Tapu Bulu. And uh, the nice thing about this is that it's got Tapu Thunder Jet. So again, another attack that if you are up against uh, Gardevoir mm -hmm. uh, GX, uh, 50 damage times the amount of energy attached to all of your opponent's Pokemon. This is again another counter for uh, for Gardevoir deck. And Aerotrail also uh, relying on moving uh, Lightning Energy from your uh, other Pokemon to this Pokemon. There's something that's not very right about this deck because there's no promo Tapu Koko. Ah, no, there isn't a promo Tapu Koko actually. No, and this is quite surprising because <clears throat> even though Mew actually has a free retreat, uh, one of the advantages of promo Tapu Koko is that you can actually start attacking first first turn. So yes, the only the only attack really that you can use first turn is either Sing from Clefairy. Or you could do Horn Attack, but you don't really want to start attacking with Tapu Bulu immediately, do you? No, because if you just use Horn Attack, you're only doing 30, and if you're like against a Gardevoir, they could just attach lots of energies, and then they could just knock out your Tapu Bulu. Okay, right. Now, 30 is important if you are up against a Galissapod. If you can mm -hmm. get that first 30 in, Galissapod goes down to 200, and then it's within range. Um, it, because uh, you've actually got uh, Nature's Judgment, which would do 180. You could choice band it, and it goes to 210. However, they could just use their armor press attack. Armor press, yeah, that's this 100. Even though that's not a lot of damage, but it has 20 less. It, the your opponent does 20 less damage next turn. So the maths is very very difficult with uh, with armor press. Um, yeah. And it can do 130 as well against you yeah. with a choice band. Even though it ha if you use Nature's Judgment 180, if you discard energies and then you attach your choice band, it wouldn't knock it out because um, of the armor press. And so the 180 goes up to 210, but then 210 goes back down to 190, and 209, uh, 190 plus 30 is 220 so you would really have to have done that horn attack right at the very beginning and um, it's very rare that uh, the wind pods stay active for you to hit them with 30 you really have to go aggressive with a guzma against it so it's a bit tricky a bit tricky you know if you want to use the tapu wilderness gx i wouldn't use it straight away because even if you attach your choice band it does 180 and the maximum for nature's judgment if you discard it and the choice band is 210 so uh, okay. i wouldn't go wasting your gx attack and that gx attack as well is great to finish off the last tapu lele that they have on the bench mm. so you could just keep that tapu lele don't damage it because if they damage that tapu lele mm -hmm. um th they can you can uh, if you damage the tapu lele even if it's got 30 damage from horn attack or any anything else it could be ace rollers they would have to waste a rainbow mm. energy to damage it before ace rollering it and you know by then it's it you know you you want to try and exchange prize with them but anyway we're talking about semantics let's talk about the deck uh three tapilele is pretty standard we're not going to start talking about that two energy recycler i would go with one energy recycler because you're not really if you use one energy recycler that you wouldn't really use them early game you use mm. them sort of middle-ish near the end so if you have one energy recycler you put you wouldn't use another one but i do agree with that as well because if what if one surprise then you won't be able to use one yeah i see and the, the surprising thing is that this player also plays Gro Bro brock's grip as well now in the absence of hmm. the seeker we can't actually play that uh and recycle it you can't play it early and then recycle it later on you can't discard it with ultra ball and recycle it now I know how, why he plays two energy recycler because maybe if he had a Brock Grit in his hand and he maybe had a Sycamore and an energy recycler, mm. you wouldn't really 
and he only had those three cards. He, you wouldn't really want to do a Brox Grip. Well, you could do a Brox Grip, mm. but then next turn, if you only have one, you would ri- you'd rather play the Energy Recycler than Sycamore away the Brox Grip mm. instead of Brox Gritting because they could end you. And then you wouldn't, like if you only had, to say, two prizes, you wouldn't really get anything. Do you think, do, well, he doesn't play Rescue Stretcher. Oh, yeah. So, Rescue Stretcher is something that you would expect to have in a Tapu Bulu deck. Mm. So, without Rescue Stretcher, I think that's playing the role of Rescue Stretcher. Mm. So, it's actually a more powerful Rescue Stretcher. And in the middle of the game, you're not really, you're not really bothered about playing a supporter. Mm. Unless it's Guzma. I know that they don't play... They play Brock Grip, but then they don't play a Rescue Stretcher. But if you play the Rescue Stretcher without Brock Grip, you play it because you know Tapu Fini. They mm. lots of people play it in like Greninja, so mm. and it's not weakness because all the Tapus aren't weakness. Okay. So that and then their attack is you can do a hundred and twenty to one of their Pokemon. I mm. think it's Bench Pokemon or yeah. all of them. Yeah, Bench Pokemon. Yeah, that's in that that's now found in Galispod decks. Yeah, Galissapod, but in Greninja it's hard because it's not got weakness and mm. all the other Pokemon mm. have, so it would be easier to rescue. So Brock's Grit wouldn't be that useful in Greninja. No, no. So that's why they don't play that. Um, right, okay. Yeah, it's, mm. it's, 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 it's interesting and in, interesting enough as well. Don't forget that Clefairy can actually copy uh, Tapu Fini's GX attack. Mm. So... That that uh, if you well if you really needed to get rid of the yeah. Tapu Fini that was that was blasting your bench, um, but um, yeah um, I I would probably save save that GX attack for mm. for what you what you mentioned earlier. Okay, right, free field blower. I don't I don't agree with this. Mm, I no. don't agree with it. I think you should go four field blower because four mm. field blower is really going to shut down a lot. Uh, uh, um, your Garbatoxin, your opposing Garbatoxin, you know. <sighs> Garbatoxin Garbador will shut down Memories of Dawn. It will shut down your Lelies. It will shut down... Aerotail. And the Aerotail. most important one is Strong Charge. And Strong Charge as well. So I am questioning whether, you know, that was, you know... But he did get top eight. Mm. He did get top eight. But there must be a reason behind this. Okay, right. Drop down to two... Uh, drop down from two Heavy Ball to one Heavy Ball. I think two is better because you might want to... Maybe first turn you could heavy ball for like a tapu bulu and then maybe you forgot that you only had one and you're mm. like well i can't even get a vicar vault because <laughs> i don't have a heavy ball yeah and also um grubbing red candy vicar vault is just amazing as well mm. very very early on it puts you at a huge advantage um i'm also wondering whether he might have played brock's grit to avoid playing recycler against a garb garbador deck maybe um, one switch. I just realised something. Oh, go on in. Um, they don't play an escape rope and they only play three Guzma. If you don't play an escape rope, you should either play f- four Guzma or you play three Guzma and one escape rope. Why is escape rope important then? Because you could escape rope and then you they bring out whatever Pokemon they want and you bring one out. You could bring out maybe... To say if you had a damaged Tapu Bulu with no energies active Mm -hmm. and they were about to knock it out, you could escape rope, which brings that to the bench. You bring something out that you don't want, not the one with energies, and then you Guzma, you bring out the one with energies, they bring out something else, Mm -hmm. and then you knock that one out with the the one with the energies. I see, I see. So trying trying to fit a uh, space for escape rope, maybe... Either Clefairy or Mew as you took that space. Maybe, no, in, if you wanted to play Escape Rope, I might think about taking out maybe an Energy Recycler mm-hmm. or... And then if you even took out another... Even you took out the Energy Recycler, you put in Escape Rope, you took out something else, I would think about putting another Heavy Ball in as well. And mm-hmm. then if you took out something else, and uh, you'd put another Field Blower in. Do you think? Do you think he played Tapu Koko as like a second switch? Maybe, mm-hmm. but, but I'm not too sure about that because although it has Sky High Scorch, a hundred and thirty, mm. 
Happy we signed Dennis to take this 50 damage times mm. the amount of... I think that's the yeah, reason but why this isn't. It, although that that would actually be good against Tapu Koko. I mean Gardevoir. Gardevoir. That would only that would be good against. So if you're if you're up against a Gardevoir deck, that is like your second attacking Pokemon. Mm. You get your energy on the field, and then uh, Gardevoir comes straight in, and uh, yeah. Tapu Thunder GX. Use that as your GX attack for for the game. Mm. So this is really. This is this is a build that's really mm. against Gardevoirs. Because if that doesn't work, you've got the fairy. Yeah. And if that doesn't work, then you can just start attacking them through Mew. So it actually has that extra versatility. It's like as if this deck is covering a lot of different directions and it's ready to surprise. Mm. Okay. Um four Ultra Ball, as expected, two Bridget. As expected, why not pay just one Bridget? Because you know some people play one Bridget and one Fan Club. Fan Fan Club isn't very use good unless you play Expanded and you play Shaman. Yeah. That's because if you Shaman, you can do Pokemon Fan Club and get a Shaman and play it. Yeah. But Bridget, if you're just using it, because if you don't have a Shaman, there's no point in just putting drawing cards like Pokemon because you're going to put them probably on your bench anyway mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so it's not that useful mm -hmm. so Bridget is actually better because you won't get a Tapu Lele with it, with it but you usually just draw a Tapu Lele because yeah. you place three okay. then if Bridget you could get a, if you really wanted to a Clefairy or maybe yeah. two Grubbins and mm -hmm. a Bulu, but I'm not too sure because what I usually get is I usually get if I really had to as like something I would get a Grubbin. I would usually get a second Grubbin, mm -hmm. but I'd get a Grubbin, a Tapu Koko, and a Tapu Bulu. And that's the non uh, GX Tapu Koko as well because yeah. that that allows you to to yeah. attack straight away and add little pebbles across the board as well. And um, if what was I going to say? Mm -hmm. If there wasn't a Tapuco, or if um, a Tapuco, okay. yeah, if there yeah. wasn't a Tapuco, or if you had a heavy ball in your hand mm -hmm. to, for the Tapu Bulu, you could. I would get a Grubbin, a Grubbin, and a Tapu Coco. Brilliant. So, okay, um, I just noticed that there are four Professor Sycamore, so oh. this is a very, very yeah. aggressive, aggressive build. I wouldn't go with the sycamores. I would go with more on the ends and the lilies. Maybe even if you wanted to a Professor Kukai. Okay, yeah, I'm thinking about Kukai as well in this deck because I think if um, if we're starting to now think about um, Galissapod. Yeah, Galissapod. Galissapod is the real. If you play real. Kukai, then it takes away the um, effect of. Oh. Armor press. Or if you didn't want to play that, you could play Pokemon Ranger instead. Mm. Oh, look, he only plays four lightning as well. Ooh. So I think what he's done is he's removed a lightning in favor of a second energy recycler. I don't think that's good because if you have another energy recycler, you've just taken away an energy. So that's not many in the discard pile because mm. most of them would be in your deck because if you had like four in your deck you wouldn't want to waste them all no because you wouldn't use you would use two like mm. four strong charges but it wouldn't be very good because mm. you wouldn't waste your energies yeah i'm always very very critical of uh going down from five to four if you prize two lightning which is possible yeah you know, pricing lightning is is is, is pretty much going to happen. But if you price two lightning, mm. uh, you can only do two attacks, and you're heavily reliant then on drawing yourself out of that situation. Which means that you have to play four sycamore. And yeah. if you play four sycamore, you're getting rid of a lot of resources. Now I know why he played two energy recycler. He mm. plays sycamore, mm. and he discards energy with sycamore. That's right. So then he just recycles them, and I suppose. That could help if you've got not so useful cards in your hand right at the very beginning. But if you've got really useful cards, things like field mm -hmm. blowers, and it does happen, field blower, maybe um, a, a rare candy, and you're, and you're just desperately trying to draw out of that situation. 
I use, I think I know why he plays three rare candy because he has a charger bug. But I think if you're not playing charger bug, you can play four rare candy because you're relying on rare candies. Yeah, yeah, four rare candy I think are necessary. Yeah, I, I would be more comfortable with it. I mean, obviously, yeah, mm. he's got top eight. Mm. He's that he's done mm. a tremendous thing here, but. For rare candy, I mean, yeah. you know that that's. Yeah. Just, I think it's really, really pushing the limits. And also, three M. I think maybe take out some of the sycamore. Maybe put in put maybe in a end. field blower or a heavy ball. Maybe put an extra rare candy and take out the charger bubble. Now, what he's got is he's got three Skylar as well. I think that's okay. That's okay because you're relying on Skylars as well because you need. Like rare candies, mm. you need heavy balls, field blowers. So do you do you find late mid to late game? So I, I've got to try and understand this decision yeah. with with three uh, versus four rare candies. Do you find mid to late game that you sometimes draw into a rare candy? You think I don't I don't know what to do with this. Well, usually mid to late game, you wouldn't really well you wouldn't use your rare candies, but you would have at least maybe used maximum two, mm. maybe even three. Um, but then, because at mid, mid, late game, you would you wouldn't need them. But mm. like you, you could like. But then you might need them because you might have a grub in or something, mm. and then you draw a vicar bolt and a rare mm. candy, if and you're like, oh, I can use that. If he's devolved yeah. by Espion EX, yeah, that's why you would. He needs it. the extra rare candies. Yeah. And I think that extra rare candy has gone back into a charger bug. Yeah. Uh, and I think he was anticipating because if you if you play four zero four mm. or three zero sorry three zero three I'm thinking mass Chris four uh, three zero three okay. with no middle line. If you get devolved, that's really really difficult because mm. you're you you have to have that rare candy in hand. And the thing that they do again. If they haven't, if you haven't knocked out their Espeon EX, which is quite possible anyway, mm. because you've got to have Bully. But if they then rescue stretcher that and bring it back out again and still do the, um, um, I forgot the attack. Which one? Um, On. The, the uh, well, it's the Devolve attack. The miraculous Shine. Miraculous Shine. Thank you so much. If they still do <laughs> Miraculous Shine, um, you're in trouble. But look, he's got three Skylar, and I think maybe that also covers the fact that he's got three Rare Candy as well. Mm -hmm. I really like in Skylar. I always like Skylar. Uh, the more I think about it, the more I like Skylar in a deck like this. Okay. And I think that's what he's done. And also, I've got to, I've got to ask myself: Has he made these? Th has he made these decisions to try and reduce the number of items in his discard pile? The answer is yes. Garbador. Yeah, but I can you just click on Clefairy again? Yeah, sure. I know why he dropped down a heavy ball. Why? Because if you cross the Clefairy, mm -hmm. um, they because if if you have a Clefairy in your Mew mm. and a Tapu Lele and like Grubbins yeah. and Charger Bugs, you've got enough time. Yeah, you like you you haven't got many three retreat costs mm. because that's more. It's just you haven't got many th three retreat costs, and yeah. even Tapu Koko hasn't got. Three retreat costs. The only three retreater is Vicavolt. And Boo and Charger Bug. And Charger Bug, exactly. So I can understand if he went down to zero Charger Bug. Ooh. But if he's got one heavy ball only, well, I suppose Ooh. he could use that heavy ball just to find the Charger Bug if he can't find anything and he's just waiting to set up. But um, we want to see how this deck runs. I know how this okay. deck runs. Okay, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass over to uh, Summer. Here we go. Oh, I, w I wanted to run through some of the comments as well that uh, that, that have been left. Um, right, okay. So, Clefairy, Clefairy um, counters uh, Turtonator. And I, I use Clefairy to threaten uh, Turtonator against Match Finch in Manchester. <laughs> because it's great. It just copies 100 and, is it 190? 180. 180. 180 attack. And all you need to do is just fit a choice band on it. And hey, presto, you've got it. No, actually, it's 160. Is it 160? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is 160. I'm thinking about ho -Oh. Okay. Turtonator. Um, well, ho -Oh was what I wanted to uh, uh, mention as well. Yeah, so we've got the uh, yeah, Bright Flame 160. And believe mm. it or not, you don't have to discard any energy. Yeah. 
So it says discard two fire energy, but if you don't have two fire energy, you don't have to discard it and you still get away with hitting out for 160. So adding a choice ban would knock out a Turtonator. And what you'd have to do is if they've got a fighting fury ban, knock, out, a knock out Turtonator GX. A oh. Clefairy could, could um, mirror um, Metronome uh, Bright Flame. Oh, I get it. Yeah. I thought you were talking about if you attach the um, st uh, different energies to a Turtonator. Ah, no, no, no. no. You wouldn't yeah. have to do that. Yeah. Okay, it also knocks out Ho Ho and it takes out Drampa, sometimes takes out Garbodor, mm. Necrozma, and also Solgaleo as well. And you know, in the new set, um, I think it's Shining Legends, mm -hmm. there's also this new card called, called Stunk. Stunk. Stunk Fisk. Fisk. Yeah, Stunk, Stunk Fisk. Fisk. And we love Stunk And Fisk. it's a fighting type, which means it can knock out Drampers and stuff, but it runs on lightning energies. We can't wait. We, we, we really want people to be playing Drampa in the next set, when the next set comes out, because Vukabudu is just going to take out... Stunk yeah, and I, I realised that... Uh, I realised this when we were flicking through. Um, I realised that it, I could use it in my Tapu Bulu deck. <laughs> Oh, Rukun has, uh, has replied. He's Please. actually said, Clefairy's main purpose is to one-shot Gardevoir GX, but it's pretty versatile. You can sh one-shot a Solgaleo, Plea GX, a Sylveon Gardevoir. What? Sylveon Gardevoir. You can plea, use you GX. can plea. Yeah. Yeah. You can use the plea. You can yeah. use plea. Black, Grey, and Metagross deck. Uh, Black. Oh, that's Black, if they Grey. Play, if they play um, Necrozma. Necrozma. Okay. Uh, one-shot Ho-Ho Turtonator without discarding energies. One shot a Bulu for three colourless while offering only one prize. It incidentally hits exactly hard enough to one shot a Rainbow Force. Oh, um, what was I going to say? Right. Go through them. Go through go them. Through. We're going to go through some more. Uh, Alright, anything that he liked, disliked about the list. Now, this is interesting. I disliked it. Okay, alright. But he <laughs> said he loved Mew and Clefairy all day until he hit the Greninja. I knew it! Okay. End to five cards last round, and it was Energy, Energy, Clefairy, Mew, Guzma. <laughs> and he said he bricked the next four cards. All right. That's a pretty bad draw. He said he's 75% favoured versus Gardevoir, Ho-Ho, and Solgaleo. Slightly favoured against Greninja. It's favoured... Well, he has to be slightly favoured because he runs Bulu. Um... Favoured against any Bulu list that isn't also running lots of Mew or Clefairy. So it actually wins the mirror. Mm. Okay. I try and find it harder with the mirror. 50 50 against most Garbodor variants, Rainbow Force. Unfavoured against Espion Garb, Xerneas Garb, mm -hmm. and Xerneas Garb. Xerneas, like Xerneas. Oh, yeah, there was some Xerneas. There was a deck that was a Xerneas Break, um, Garbodor, so they shut down the ability. So I'm interested oh, in seeing that one. And Metagross, unfavoured against Metagross. But on the plus side, Bulu is really hard to tech against. Yeah, I know how why it's um, unfavoured against Metagross. Okay. Uh, almost everyone was running techs like Potown, Espeon EX, mm -hmm. Double Enhance Hammer, Mr. Mime. Bulu runs techs that hit like five matchups each. And a lot of people are just burning more than two cards running techs that are dead versus Bulu. Okay. Excellent. Uh, so a real congratulations uh, versus, uh, sorry, a real congratulations to um, to Rukan. Fantastic to see all the all the, um, the the hints and tips as well. We really want to get a game on this one. So yeah, I'm I really want to play a game. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna save it. All right. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this deck because I like the way I play my deck. It's very different to this deck. Okay. Because it doesn't have a Clefairy and a Mew All in right, it. Well, and could... I have a Tapu Koko promo. Okay, so we're going to see. I suppose yeah. the Tapu Koko promo would be um, in place of... Um, uh, or would be replaced by the actual Mew. All right, yeah. let's see how it goes, right? You ready to take over? Yeah, I'm ready to All take right, over. All right. I'll be... Yeah. You'll okay. be right there. I'll be right here. Go for it. Um. You got a seat? Yeah, I got a seat. <laughs> wow, that scared me. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, yay, playing! 
Rainbow Walk that we're doing. Quartz. Yeah, Rainbow Quartz. So he actually said, um, as he thought about it, Fighting Fury Belt would have been great against Greninja. And That's Eagle. what I was going to say. Okay, and Igor's Volcanion Lift, but Choice Band kind of carried him through four Gardevoirs and four Galithopods, so he doesn't really regret mm. the tool set. Right, we're starting. The various metronome was used to copy infinite force. Okay. Happy Coco's yeah. GX attack gone for a big KO. Oh, and if there's anyone's anyone's unsure mm. about why I put out the grub instead of the Tapu Coco, it's because Tapu Coco is for late game. Volcanion. Lily! <laughs> I love Lily. Ian. Ooh, I think I know why he didn't play that N. He didn't play that N because I started with the Glavum. Ooh. However, um, he kind of forced. Yeah, kind of. Maybe you wouldn't want to sick him all that away because you only could play three rare candy. Um, so I mean, I suppose maybe we could have we could have um, put the uh, energy back here. I don't really want to put Coco out, but I would put the energy on. Okay. Which one? Uh, yellow one. Lightning, it's not yellow. It's not yellow and green. Electric. This one? Oh, that's much better. Right. <laughs> the first thing you do. Like, the first thing. And the mute? Hmm, well you won't really want... I think you could use that. Yeah, I, I was just going to say that. I, w I wouldn't really want to Ultra Ball right now. <coughs> yeah, he's probably going to knock out your Grub Inch. Yeah. Because he's got power heating. Well, he d d can only do the maximum 40 without steam ups. And I got another reason why you can't, why you should have the Tapu Koko promo. Because, what if you are up against the uh, baby nine tails? Uh, well, you could just attack with Mew. Well, you could attack with Mew, but if you like didn't have the Mew or the Clefairy. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Alright. Okay. okay. Alright, you've got a switch and you've, oh. got, you've got the grub in as well. Grubbin! You've got a rare candy and you've got a heavy ball. A rare candy and a heavy ball. Right, I'll play the heavy ball. Heavy ball for a big fight. Because the first thing that comes up when you do heavy ball normally is a um thicker vault. Ooh. Um, what's the Tapu Koko GX? 
Every code codes, yeah. I'd write two. It's 130? Yeah, it's 130. Um, well, what's on the fence? Is that a Terminator? A Terminator with a fighting fury belt and a Volcanium. Okay, well, your, fight, your field level must... Both of them. Oh, come on. Have I done that? I think it's yellow. Absolutely, completely. One sec. I don't know. Good. I did it! Okay. Uh, so, do we want a good one or do we want an M? Is it 130? 130. Uh, what's, what's the GX of Two times. Two times the amount of energy attached to oh, So that's a That's not going to be enough. Mm, 50. Um, well, you will have to switch. So, but do you, well, you might not have to. It'd be good to know. So, what's, what's on the left hand side? That's so, a Titanator, a Volcanium, yeah, it's Volcanium, and a Titanator, and a Volcanium. Okay. Um, Lele? Lele goes on. Yeah, because you don't want to, you don't want to, not yet. Um, Susan. Who's my? Good for the Tertinator with the two energies. I know. Tertinator with the two um, energies. You can put out a mute. That's what I was going to just say. You put out the me because I have to retreat. Well, if you strong charge on the Tokyo GX, you can get to perfect. You know, it would be easier if you said Tapu Koko GX. At, at worst, it's a one to one trade off. These two energies. He would also have. Yeah, that's a lemon. Okay, um, another update. Oh no. Apparently five energy on a Clefairy and a Choice Band. actually bicker bolted onto your Q, you could then cross the end. Can you pick that up? Type one and energy. Okay, two, three. Why not play the box for it? Yeah. I know what to do. Your funking with a mute. That's ready to Ready for anything. If you hit a sky lift, that would be sky. Yeah, I know why you should hit a sky sky lift.
was this SVM player and all he had um the whole game was a um tapulele and he scooped. But I didn't win. Frank Hubert who says he's better in the mirror against Frank Bull Canyon against Greninja against you and Nancy Swinney. But he went in and went to Gardevoir and Galifian. Got. It's hard against that. I think Tabby Booney. No, I think it's Tabby Booney. We got a Tabby Lele. Mm. We got the Tabby Lele. Uh, you got a charge of it. Oh, yeah. No, we got a Tabby Lele. Uh, uh, um, also got a good. Oh, yeah, same too many, I think. Uh, put the shot. Oh, come on. If you're going to. No. Uh, what would you want to do? You need to turn. Right, play the energy. Stop brushing me! <laughs> no! Well that increases your... Um... Uh, if you... Yeah. Want to be... Okay, play the Ah! He's only got three prizes. Three mm. Go for that. Um, yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Because last time you weren't sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you've got the energy. Oh, no! Yeah, because if uh, if it's a bully, it was. I think. What about Tapu Koko? Tapu Koko down. Tapu Koko. Teferi, go on, bench it. We got a bench the Teferi. No, I don't <laughs> want to. <laughs> Come on! Oh. <laughs> no! Choice, choice down with the fairy. Choice back! No! <laughs> right, okay, go on then. Uh, oh, um, you need to attack. Quickly! Um, you would have to tap a rules in oh, in dear. order to knock him. That's oh. just a waste! If you do check nature's judgment, yes. your energy will go away, but yeah, you might as well. Phew! Yes. Thank you. Mm. Okay. We've got blue. We've got an ultra ball. Hey, Tom. He's. I. Oh. Well, my temperament is in it. Is that.
Yeah, no, is that good or bad? Danger. No! You know you're going to be very, 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 very sad. Yes! Pop the energy on, and now you're reliant on him to stop him. And hope that he doesn't have to. Want to hear? Yeah, you have to. Did I just do sing? Uh, use strong charge. Hope that he doesn't have an end. Well, at least you get a ticket. Charging the guitar. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> We clicked done by mm. accident. Oh, but you know what? He had the energy in. Yay! Oh, he had to switch. Yeah, he's just doing it. He's got that sweet hand. But um, you know what? It was a oh, never mind. I told you we should have got Tapu Coco. You just didn't want to Tapu Coco. Oh. No. I think we should have got Tapu. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Yeah, maybe. Sorry, Kaferi. Ha ha, Kaferi. Sorry, Kaferi. Right, we're going to call it uh, We're going to call it uh, a night because Kaferi didn't win. Ha uh ha. -huh. Alright. Thank you very much for watching. I'm not gutted, you're gutted. I'm gutted. Yeah. You didn't want to attack me. I'm happy. happy. <laughs> maybe you were right. That's why I don't play Tapu Bubu. So he makes got, too many mistakes. I do, I do make too many mistakes. But you, Pete, at the moment, you would have got it. Take care. Bye. Bye.